Hi, my name is Bob Foos. I live in Crystal River, Florida. Um, this here is my 1973 Corvette Stingray Roadster and uh, I've had it since the year 2000. Uh, when I got it, it was kind of a basket case, but it had a lot of original parts with it in that. The original drivetrain, the original engine, um, but it was held together with uh, duct tape and everything needed to be either fixed, replaced, uh, or whatever. So it was a frame on, I guess you would call it restoration, even though we replaced body bushings, we did uh, a lot of different things to this car. Um, but it was really a labor of love. It was fun to do. I would just say anybody that's ever thinking of uh, getting one of these cars or any car for that matter and wants to try their hand at restoring that and go for it. It's just the, it's a fun part of the hobby. You don't have to be a, a, a brain surgeon or anything. You learn as you go. There's all kinds of books with the internet now and uh, videos the, like this. Um, you can pretty much learn how to do anything if you really want to do it. And uh, the two things I really enjoy most about this car are driving it and the restoration process of it. I, I learned from a man who was a very talented individual. He owned a Corvette business in Indiana for years and years. And uh, his name, uh, it was a, a shop called Beautiful Bodies. And um, he was, uh, Henry, was a, a, a do-it-yourself, learn by yourself when he was a kid on a farm. And he did nothing but Corvettes back in those days. And um, the way I met him was, is when I acquired this car, it was, uh, uh, like I said, it was, I couldn't really tell the color of the paint because most of it was worn away. Um, and I was in that debate about should I change the color or leave the color the same and back in the year 2000 or so people were still and they still are people are there's two schools there's the, the school that doesn't want to touch it and uh, wants doesn't want to over restore it or anything and there's the other school that wants to modernize it and make it more comfortable and enjoyable to drive doesn't matter to me either way um, I love this car it brings me back to the future so to speak um, it always puts a smile on your face and um, I think it, these cars are meant to be shared with as many people as you can I let other people take it with their wives for anniversary or something if they want to and it's just uh, it's been a great fun car I've been really lucky and uh, that's pretty much all I can say about it it's a, a great car it's an original color it's called Yellow Metallic. I don't know how many were made in Yellow, yellow Metallic. And as it happens, 1969, 1973, and a few other years, they, for some reason, um, the factory or archives didn't keep uh, an actual number of how many they actually made in that particular color. But I don't think there's a whole lot of them. I haven't seen very many around. It's very similar to a color called Warbonnet Yellow, which uh, in 72, or actually I think it was 70 or 71, 71, 72 were Warbonnet Yellow. That was a little bit more green, but that's what the astronauts used to get. And they had um, some in this color, actually, but they were uh, coupes. And uh, it just, uh, that was a popular car. It's always been a, a popular car. Um, I always wanted one. I could never afford one with four kids. And uh, this came along. A friend of mine that was a retired Secret Service agent uh, sold it to me because of the fact that he didn't, uh, he was so meticulous about things he couldn't find anybody down where we live in Pinellas County um, at the time to uh, paint it that was up to his standards. So he called me and asked me if I wanted to buy it. I bought it from him for what he paid for it and uh, just some shipping because I had to have it shipped back from Atlanta. And then uh, I started with the process and this is where we are. I got a lot still to do, but that's the fun is you're always, you have to plan on always doing something to it. But the more you get into it and the more you learn, the more fun it is. So that's all I got to say about that. <laughs>